Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjaliya Mall Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Venni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Fluid Mechanics and Machines. And this is lecture number 9.4. We are going to solve problems in the flow through pipes. In the earlier lectures, we discussed the theory part and we solved the problems in the flow through pipes. In this lecture also, we continue with the problem solving in flow through pipes. The learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problems in the flow through pipes. Example number 6 from November 2019 question paper, a pipe of diameter 0.6 meter is 1.5 kilometer long. To increase discharge, another pipeline of the same diameter is introduced parallel to the first in the second half of the length. Neglecting minor losses, find the increase in discharge if Darcy's friction factor is 0 0.04. The head at the inlet is 300 millimeter. So, the data given, length of the pipe equal to 1.5 kilometer which is 1500 meter, diameter equal to 0.6 meter and the head equal to 0.3 meter and the friction factor is 0 0.04. When the reservoir is connected by a single pipe, there are two reservoirs, the head difference is 0.3 meter. When the reservoirs are connected by a single pipe, we have to calculate the head loss, H equal to 4 FL V square by 2 G D, uh, which is 0.3, H is 0.3, substituting other parameters, 4 into 0 0.04 into 1500 into V square, divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0.6. The velocity of the flow uh, of water is 0 0.121 meters per second. Now, the discharge when you have, when the reservoirs are connected by a single pipe, Q1 equal to A into V, which is pi by 4 D square into V, pi by 4 point 0.6 square into point 0.121 equal to point zero three four two meter cube per second. If the reservoirs are connected by parallel pipes, so now the single pipe is replaced by another parallel pipe in the second half. Now, the various parameter. Q2 is the water flowing in the first half of the main pipe, L2 is the length, Q3 is the discharge in the second half of the main pipe, L3 is the length, Q4 is the discharge of the branch pipe, parallel pipe of length L4. Now, we have these conditions, Q2 is the total quantity of water leaving the tank, first tank and it is flowing in the parallel pipe. So, Q2 equal to Q3 plus Q4 and we have L2 plus L3 equal to 1500, L3 equal to L4, these lengths are equal, all the diameters are equal, pipe diameter, all the diameters are equal. So, now when L3 equal to L4 and when the discharge is shared between these two, Q3 equal to Q4. Now, we calculate Q2 equal to 2 times of Q3. So, Q2 the total discharge in the first, pipe, first half of the pipe equal to Q3 plus Q4. So, Q3 equal to Q4, so Q2 equal to 2 times of Q3, A2, V2 equal to 2 times of A3 into V3. So, area is equal because all the diameters are equal, area is equal. So, we simplify V3 equal to V2 by V1. So, V3 is the velocity uh, in the second half of the main pipe and V2 is the velocity in the first half of the main pipe. So, V3 equal to V2 by 2. Now, we write the head loss, head loss equal to 4 FL2 V2 square by 2 GD plus 4 FL3 V3 square by 2 GD, substituting all the parameters here, left hand side is 0 0.3, 4, 4 FL L2 equal to L3, 4 into 0 0.04 into 750 V2 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.6 plus 4 into 0.04 into 750 into V3 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.6. All the parameters are equal, all the numerical values are equal excepting V2 and V3, combining the two terms on the right hand side, it is 10.19 multiplied by V2 square plus V3 square. Already we calculated V3 equal to V2 by 2, so substituting here 0 0.3 equal to 10.19 into V2 square plus V2 square by 4, which is 10.19 V2 square into 1 plus 1 by 4, which is 12.735 V2 square. So, solving this equation, we will get V2 equal to 0 0.153 meters per second, and the discharge Q2 equal to A2 V2, which is pi B4 D square into V2, pi B4 into 0.6 square into 0.153 equal to 0 0.0432 meter cube per second. Now, the increase in discharge delta Q equal to Q2 minus Q1, delta Q equal to 0 0.0432 minus 0 0.0342 equal to 0 0.009 meter cube per second. So, the answer to the problem increase in discharge equal to 0 0.009 meter cube per second. When you add the parallel pipe, the discharge is increasing by 
the quantity 0 0.009 meter cube per second. Example number 7 from May 2009 question paper, an existing 300, 300 millimeter diameter pipeline of 3200 meter length connects two reservoir having 13 meter difference in their water level. Calculate the discharge Q1. If a parallel pipe of 300 millimeter in diameter is attached to the last 1600 meter length of the above existing pipeline, find the new discharge Q2. What is the change in the discharge? Express it as the percentage of Q1. Assume friction factor friction 0 0.04 in Darcy Weisbach formula. The same problem uh, what we discussed earlier with a change in the, with different numerical data, we will solve it again. Length equal to 3200 meter, diameter equal to 0.3 meter, the head difference is 13 meter, and the friction factor F equal to 0 0.04. So, when we have single pipeline connecting the reservoir, so H equal to 13 meter, so H equal to 4 FLV square by 2 GD, so substituting 13 equal to 4 into 0 0.04 into 3200 into V square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.3. So, solving the equation velocity V equal to 0.386 meters per second. Now, discharge when you have a single pipe discharge Q1 equal to A into V pi by 4 D square into V which is pi by 4 into 0.3 square into 0.386 equal to 0 0.0273 meter cube per second. Now, when the reservoir is connected by additional pipe parallel pipe now this is the arrangement. So, as in the previous problem Q2 is the discharge from the first tank and it is it is reaching the second tank the head difference is 13 meter in the second part of the pipeline the second part is additional pipe uh, parallel pipe is attached of length l4 l3 equal to l4 l2 equal to l3 uh, q3 equal to q4 already we discussed q2 equal to q3 plus q4 l3 equal to l4 d3 all the diameters are equal d3 equal to d4 a2 equal to a3 so the diameter a2 equal to a3 and then uh, Q3 equal to Q4. So, we calculate Q2 equal to 2 times of Q3. So, Q2 is the quantity leaving the first tank. It is being distributed to the two pipeline Q3 and the Q4. So, Q2 equal to Q3 plus Q4. Now, Q2 equal to 2 times of Q3. So, Q3 equal to Q4. So, Q2 equal to 2 times of Q3. So, substituting A2 V2 equal to 2 times of A3 V3. So, V3 equal to V2 by 2. Velocity in the uh, second half of the pipeline is equal to velocity in the first half of the pipeline divided by 2. Now, uh, we take the head loss for the main pipeline. So, first half 4 FL 2 V 2 square by 2 G D plus 4 FL 3 V 3 square by 2 G D. So, we substitute all the values here 4 into 0 0.04 into 1600 into V 2 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.3 plus 4 into 0 0.04 into 1600 into V 3 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into 0 0.3. So, accepting V2 and V3, other terms are equal, other, other numerical values are equal on the right hand side. So, combining, so 13 equal to 43.49 into V2 square plus V3 square. So, already we calculated V3 equal to V2 by 2, substituting here 13 equal to 43.9, 43.49 into V2 square plus V2 square by 4. So, simplifying 43.49 into V2 square into 1 plus 1 by 4, which is 54.3625 V2 square. So, solving this equation V2 equal to 0.489 meters per second. Now, the new discharge with a parallel pipe, additional parallel pipe Q2 equal to A2 V2 which is pi by 4 D2 square into V2, pi by 4 0.3 square into 0.489 equal to 0 0.0345 meter cube per second. Now, percentage of increase in discharge Q2 minus Q1 divided by Q1 into 100 which is 0 0.0435 minus 0 0.0273 divided by 0 0.0273 into 100 equal to 26.37 percentage. So, the answer to the problem the percentage increase in discharge equal to 26.37 percentage. Example number 8 from May 2019 question paper a pumping plant is forcing the water through the pipe of 60 centimeter diameter and the frictional loss is 30 meter. For reducing the power consumption it is proposed to lay another pipe along the, si along the side of the existing pipe. So, both pipe will run parallel to the entire length and reduced to the friction head to the 10 meter. Find the required diameter of the new pipeline assuming friction factor is the same for both pipelines. So, D1 diameter D1 equal to 0.6 meter, HF1 when you have single pipeline HF1 equal to 30 meter, 
when you have two parallel pipe h of 2 equal to 10 meter for single pipe h of equal to 4 f l v square by 2 g d so substituting h of is 30 meter 4 f l v square by 2 into 9.81 into 0.6 so simplifying f l v square equal to 88.29 or v equal to square root of 88.29 divided by f l now now the discharge for single pipeline q equal to a into v pi by 4 d square into v so substituting q equal to pi by 4 into 0.6 square into square root of 88.29 divided by f l which is equal to 2.655 into square root of 1 by f l now when you have parallel pipe like this so there are two parallel pipe of length l1 l2 d1 d2 v1 v2 and the head difference is h so here d1 equal to 0.6 meter d2 is the unknown we have to calculate the diameter d2 so for h of 4 f l v1 square by 2 g d so 10 meter now 10 meter equal to 4 f l v1 square by 2 into 9.81 into 0.6 so f l v1 square equal to 29.43 v1 equal to square root of 29.43 divided by f l so discharge in the pipe 1 q1 equal to a1 v1 which is pi by 4 d1 square into v1 which is pi by 4 into 0.6 square into square root of 29.43 divided by f l equal to 1.24 into square root of 1 by f l now for the second pipe h of equal to 4 f l v2 square by 2 g d2 so 10 h of again 10 equal to 4 into f l v2 square by 2 into 9.81 d2 so this is f l v2 square equal to 49.05 into d2 so v2 equal to square root of 49.2 49.05 into d2 divided by f l discharge in the pipe 2 q2 equal to a2 v2 which is pi by 4 d2 square into v2 so q2 equal to pi by 4 d2 square into square root of substituting for v2 square root of 49.05 into d2 divided by f l so simplifying this will be 5.49 d2 to the power 2.5 into square root of 1 by f l now the diameter of the new pipeline we know q equal to q1 plus q2 so this substituting q equal to 2.655 into square root of 1 by f l q1 equal to 1.24 into square root of 1 by f l plus q2 equal to 5.49 d2 to the power 2 point d2 to the power 2.5 into square root of 1 by f l now 1 by f l is getting cancelled so 2.655 equal to 1.24 plus 5.49 d2 to the power 2.5 so d2 to the power 2.5 equal to 1.145 divided by 5.49 which is 0.2577 so d2 equal to 0.58 meter now the answer to the problem diameter of the new pipeline is 0.58 meter Example number 9, two reservoirs 1 km apart are connected by two pipes in parallel. One is 300 mm in diameter and the other is 200 mm in diameter. If the combined flow rate is 1 meter cube per second, find the velocity of the flow in the each pipe. Assume friction factor to be the same for both pipes. So, this is from November 2019 question paper. So, this is the arrangement. So, we are given L1 equal to L2 equal to 1000 meter, D1 equal to 0.3 meter, D2 equal to 0.2 meter, total discharge Q equal to 1 meter cube per second and friction factor F1 equal to F2. So, discharge in each pipe. So, Q1 equal to A1 V1 which is pi by 4 D1 square V1 substituting pi by 4 into 0.3 square into V1 equal to 0 0.07065 V1. Q2 equal to A2 V2 pi by 4 D2 square into V2 which is pi by 4 into 0.2 square into V2 equal to 0 0.0314 into V2. Now discharge Q1 plus Q2 equal to 0 0.1. Q equal to 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.07065 into V1 plus 0 0.0314 into V2. We take this is equation number 1. Now for parallel pipe 4F, 4F L1 V1 square by 2G D1 equal to 4F L2 V2 square by 2G D2. So everything is constant excepting velocity and diameter. So we simplify v1 square by d1 equal to v2 square by d2 so v1 square by 0.3 equal to v2 square by 0.2 so v1 by v2 equal to square root of 0.3 by 0.2 which is 1.22 so v1 equal to 1.22 times of v2 so substitute the value in the equation number 1 so substituting here 0.1 equal to 0 0.07065 into v1 plus 0 0.0314 v2 so substituting for v2 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.0765 into 1.22 into v2 plus 0 0.0314 into v2 so simplifying 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.11759 into v2 so v2 equal to 0 0.85 meters per second 
and v1 equal to 1.22 times of v2 which is 1.22 into 0.85 equal to 1.037 meters per second. So, the answer to the problem velocity in the pipe v1 equal to 1.037 meters per second and v2 equal to 0.85 meters per second. Example number 10 from November 2009 question paper. A 30 centimeter diameter pipe conveying water branches into two pipes of diameter 20 centimeter and 15 centimeter respectively. You take the diagram. This is the diagram. So, 30 centimeter di pipeline diameter D1 equal to 30 centimeter which is 0.3 meter. Velocity is 2.5 meter second meters per second and it is branched to two of one is of diameter 0.2 meter D2 equal to 0.2 meter another is of diameter 0.15 meter. So, here the velocity is 2 meters per second. So, and the here what is the velocity? The velocity is the unknown. So, if the average velocity is 30 centimeter pipeline is 2.5 meters per second, find the discharge in the pipe. Also, determine the velocity in 15 centimeter pipe if the average velocity is velocity in the 20 centimeter pipe is 2 meters per second. So, everything all the data given in the problem are described in the form of a diagram. Now, we calculate the area of the pipe A1, A2, A3. A1 equal to pi by 4 D1 square which is 3.14 divided by 4 into 0.3 square equal to 0 0.07065 meter square. A2 equal to pi by 4 D2 square which is 3.14 divided by 4 into 0.2 square equal to 0 0.0314 meter square. A3 equal to pi by 4 D3 square which is 0 3.14 divided by 4 into 0 0.5 square equal to 0 0.01766 meter square. All the area were calculated. The discharge in the main pipeline. So, Q1 equal to A1 V1 0.0765 into 2.5 equal to 0.177 meter cube per second. Now, discharge in the branch pipe Q2 equal to A2 V2 which is 0.0314 into 2 equal to 0 0.0628 meter cube per second and Q3 equal to Q1 minus Q2 which is 0.177 minus 0 0.0628 equal to 0 0.1142 meter cube per second. Now, calculate the we calculate the velocity in this 15 centimeter pipe V3 equal to Q3 by A3 so which is 0 0.1142 divided by 0 0.01766 equal to 6.47 meters per second. So, the answer to the problem the discharge in the main pipeline Q1 equal to 0 0.177 meter cube per second velocity in 15 centimeter diameter pipe is 6.47 meters per second. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineer subject. You may find the fluid mechanics and machinery book in the list. You can refer to the book for additional problem in the flow through pipe. And I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me uh, for any clarification through my mail ID or WhatsApp number. I will, I will sincerely answer to your queries. We will meet again in another video lectures with the additional problems in the flow through pipes from Anna University question paper. Until then, bye bye.